Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another lesson for our 2D Hack and Slash course here on YouTube. As always, this is a pay what you want course, so if you want to support the course, there are two links in the description, one through itch.io where you can donate and download the resources, and another which is my pixel art course on Udemy. Let's get started. So today we're going to be learning about scripts. And so the, the actual behavior in our game isn't going to change. Uh, it will act exactly the same by the time that we get done with this. But we're going to organize our code a little bit better using a script to make it uh, so that it just it's easier to maintain, it's easier to debug, it's just good practice. Okay, and it's also setting up for later on when we start doing our combo, because currently we only have attack one in. We're gonna want attack two and attack three, so we're gonna be setting up a combo, and we're going to use some scripts, a couple scripts to help make that process a little bit easier. So let's get started. Now, a script is very similar to a function. So if we come into our move state right here, we have the keyboard check function and the place meeting function. These are two functions that we're currently using that are built into GameMaker. Now scripts basically allow you to add your own functions into GameMaker. Now this function right here, keyboard check, we can check to see if a key is being pressed and we tell it what key to check for. So this little bit between the two parentheses is called either the parameter or the argument. And this one right here with the commas it has three parameters or three arguments. So you can pass information into a script based on that. Otherwise you'd have to have a keyboard underscore check underscore VK underscore write and then you have to have a function for every single key and that would be pointless. So this allows you to pass information into a single function and then this function knows how to handle that. Okay. When do you use a script? Well, that's kind of a tough question to answer because there's really no right answer, but the general rule would be if you start seeing similar code happening over and over and over again, right? Uh, because now let's say we want to change our players uh, let's say we wanted to make it so that the player, we wanted to change something about moving left and right with the player. There are actually two places where we move the character left and right. And so we would have to change both of these places. And so this code, you can see how this code for moving left looks very similar to this code for moving right. Does that make sense? So that's a good place to use a script. So let's come over to scripts and we're gonna right click and do create script. And inside of here, we're going to, well, first let's name this script. So I'm gonna do F2. And I name my scripts similar to GameMaker's functions, just to kind of follow that same pattern. So we're going to name this script move and collide. So this script right here will handle both movement and collisions. Now, how do we make it so we can pass information into this script? Because remember, we talked about how you can pass information into a function. I'm just gonna reorganize this just a little bit so we can, oops, right there, okay. So right here, we're passing information into this function. How do we make it so you can pass information into this script? Well, you use what's called an argument. Um, so inside of here, if we write argument zero, that would be the very first thing that we pass into here. So let's say we're writing a script like place meeting and we pass in x plus equals four, argument zero will become x plus equals four. That's what it will become. If we pass in x plus e x plus not plus equals, but plus four. If we pass in x plus seven, then argument zero will become x plus seven. So this little built-in variable right here holds the value of whatever we've passed into it, okay? So let's look at our code here. So we have movement right here, 
and we have a check to see if the, there's a wall there. So this two these two pieces of logic, we can move outside of here. And here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna say, if not place meeting x plus argument zero. So that's gonna be the argument we're gonna pass in. y plus argument one well, let's, let's do it this way. We'll do x plus argument zero, y, object wall. So this looks just like, just like this code right here, right? This, just like this little bit right here. Then we'll say x plus equals argument zero. So we'll move in the x direction. Then we'll do the same thing, but we're gonna do it for the y. So we'll say, and the reason you do them separately is, let me show you. Let me open up paint. So if you have a, a corner like this and you have your character right here at the edge of this corner, let's say you want to move, let's say your character wants to move over a bit and also down a bit. If you try and do them at the same time, it will, it will, um, move the character into this wall, right? Because it checks to see, is this place free? Yeah, there's nothing here. Is this place free? Yeah, there's nothing here. So then it moves over and down and you end up inside the wall, right? However, if you check here and then move this way first, if you move this first and then you check down, you're gonna see there's a wall there. Oops, right? And you won't move down. So that's why you have to do them at different times. So we're gonna do them separately. If not, place meeting x, y plus argument one, object wall. Then we'll say y plus equals argument one. Okay. This bit of code right here, we can use to move our player by passing in an X amount to move, which will be our argument zero, and a Y amount to move, which will be our argument one. So let's try it. So we'll come down here and we'll say, we can take out this right here, take out this right here, we can take out this right here and take out this right here. And then inside of here, where we're doing the, if we're pressing the right key, we can say X, or we can say move and collide. And then we need to pass in an X amount. So we'll say four and a Y amount. So we'll say zero semicolon. And we can do the same thing right here. Move and collide. Now our X amount is going to be negative four this time and our Y amount is going to be zero. And we've just moved all of that logic into a script that we can then use and reuse. Let's run the game. And you should be able to move to the left and move to the right and we still collide with stuff. Now if you press both directions at the same time, our character still animates. Um, you could have a check here to see if they are pressing both of these keys and then set image speed equal to zero. That's one solution to that. But we may end up changing this code a little bit later anyways, so to make it to clean it up even more. I just wanted to use this as an example to introduce scripts. So now let's come here and you can see we have another bit of logic here for moving left and right. So we'll remove this right here and then we'll say move and collide. And this is six and zero for rolling. And then we can remove this right here 
and we can say move and collide negative six and zero inside of our roll state. So now we've used our script and the cool thing about this script is if you want anything else in your game to move and handle coll have collision logic, you can use the same move and collide script for anything in your game. Great. Now there's one more thing I want to show you about scripts. So when we're typing this script in, like this, and collide, you can see GameMaker will highlight it. It will also show the script right there, but it doesn't tell us what information to pass into the script. Let me, let me sh give you an example. So if you can see right here, if I put my mouse inside of here, we don't get any information down here. However, if you're typing in a normal game maker function like place meeting, it will show you that you need an X, a Y, and an object for place meeting. See, it tells you down here what you need inside of this function. However, there's a trick to be able to get it to show you that with scripts. Now, if you're using Game Maker Studio 1.4, what you'll do is you'll do three three slashes like this and you'll say move and collide and then you'll tell it what variables you're going to pass in so x speed and then y speed like that or x move and y move okay that's how you'll do it in game maker studio 1.4 in game maker studio 2 you just tell it which arguments so we'll say r um, at sign arg x speed and then at sign arg y speed like this and that tells game maker studio 2 that you have two arguments to pass in then if we type it out If we type out move and collide, you can see we get an X speed and a Y speed, and it tells us exactly what to pass in. Perfect. And that will be all. That's your introduction to scripts. We'll get, we'll talk more about scripts in the next lesson. We're going to be using them for starting our combo system. And so there's a little bit, there's one more thing about scripts that you'll learn. And so you'll, you'll learn that in the next lesson, though I didn't want to overdo it because scripts are a little tricky. So I'm, there's something called a return value. Today we basically learned about creating a script and then passing in arguments to that script. There's also a way to pass information back out of the script. That's called a return. And we're going to be talking about that in the next lesson and starting our combo system. So thank you guys so much for watching this lecture, this lesson. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one.